Well, Andrew, thanks very much for fronting up. Um, magnificent start for the team tonight. How do you account for what actually happened in red time of the first quarter onwards? Um, yeah, look, a, a bit of a disaster, really. I mean, we seemed like we, we had all the momentum and <clears throat> you're right, those last three goals in the first quarter really uh, really took it away from us. And, um, you know, Wadey going down uh, was obviously a big loss for us. It sort of threw out our structure a little bit. It, meant that um, Ben Reid could go forward and sort of stretch our back line. Um, yeah, and, and we just got annihilated around the ball. I mean, we, they, uh, they're they a contested footy team and we knew that if uh, we were going to win the game, we had to beat them in that area and they uh, they slaughtered us. You mentioned the loss of weight. You yourself coming back after eight weeks. Murphy's missed three. McGuinness's first game in you know, almost a year. Um, does that measure up you know, in terms of what actually happened? A couple of blokes underdone. Um, <clears throat> look, that's, that's no excuse for it. I mean, um, you know, Murph missing three weeks, maybe his touch was a little bit off, but, uh, you know, it's enough time for him to keep his fitness in order. <clears throat> um, uh, look, you know, I mean, if that was an issue, we wouldn't have played so well in the first quarter, but, um, yeah, we just, they, uh, they were able to t turn the tables in the first quarter and, and then, unfortunately, we weren't able to wrestle it back. How was the week leading into the game? I'd imagine the boys would have been pretty upbeat and looking forward to the challenge, and you know, plenty riding on the on the uh, game too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we trained well all week, and, and there was definitely an excitement there. Um, coming into the game, even today, I know the boys felt, uh, you know, they felt good, and, and, and we, that was just sort of an indication of how we went in the first quarter. You know, we were playing really well, but um, yeah, really disappointed that we dropped off so dramatically. Can you explain how it does feel to come back? play football at that level, you know, having effectively been out of footy for eight weeks? Yeah, it's a big, it's a big adjustment. Um, it's just, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot to take in, um, you know, thinking about different tactics and, and uh, you know, trying to do my job and, and do my role for the team. So, um, yeah, look, it is a big adjustment, but, um, you know, something I think that I sort of back myself in to be able to do most of the time. So where does it leave the, the team and the players, Andrew? I mean, I guess you can't look too far ahead. St Kilda is the next challenge and you focus on that particular game. Yeah, I mean, that's all we can do now. Um, you can't change the past. I mean, it's disappointing with, uh, you know, some of, the, some of the bad losses that we've had and, and little lapses in games that have cost us now. Um, but in saying that, I mean, our future's in our hands. If we, if we want to seriously contend in September and, and be there, um, you know, we've got to turn losses like we've had in the last three weeks into wins and, and, and hope that today's an aberration. And I'm pretty confident we've got the group that can do that. Rest up, mate. I think it's an early start tomorrow, so make sure you're there bright and early and let's hope the boys can, you know, rebound as they should through the week. Yeah, I, I hope so too. I mean, I think, like I said, I think we've got the group to, uh, to, to rebound from a performance like this. I mean, I know our supporters will be disappointed and, and, they, and deservedly so, but, um, you know, we, we get to redeem ourselves next Saturday night, hopefully. Thanks a lot, Andrew. Appreciate it. No worries.